Hello all, welcome to the tutorial on uh, graphical programming uh, or graphical method for solving a linear programming problem. So in this tutorial we will see the third type of problem in which you will get a graphical method. So the constraint is like uh, objective function is maximization z is equal to 100x1 plus 80x2 subject to the constraint uh, 5x1 plus 10x2 less than or equal to 50 and uh, 8x1 plus 2x2 greater than or equal to 16 and 3x1 minus 2x2 greater than or equal to 6 where x1 and x2 greater than or equal to 0. So what we have seen in the previous uh, tutorial is for the maximization problem all the constraints are less than or equal to type. For minimization problem all the constraints have greater than or equal to type. So this this type of constraint has a mixer type of constraint like uh, uh, the first constraint will have less than or equal to type, the second constraint will have greater than or equal to type and the third one is greater than or equal to type. So this the same thing we can apply as like uh, the previous tutorial. First uh, you take the first constraint and uh, the, the constraint is uh, 5x1 plus 10x2 equal to 50. Now convert that uh, any constraint into a equal to type constraint. On applying x1 is equal to 0, you will get uh, x2 is equal to 50 by 10 is 5. On applying x2 is equal to 0, you will get uh, x1 as 10. So the values are 0, 5 and uh, 10, 0. And for the second type of constraint, it is like uh, 8x1 plus 2x2 equal to 16. So on applying x1 is equal to 0, you'll get uh, x2 equal to 8. On applying x2 is equal to 0, you'll get uh, x2 equal to, sorry, x1 is equal to 2. So you'll be getting uh, two points, 0, 8 and 2, 0. Now we'll go for the third constraint. So 3x1 minus 2x2 equal to 6. On applying x1 is equal to 0, we'll get x2 as minus 3. And uh, x2 is equal to 0, we'll get x1 is equal to 2. So the points are 0, comma minus 3 and 2, comma 0. So the points are like uh, 0, comma 5, 10, comma 0 is for the first constraint. For the second constraint, 0, comma 8, 2, comma 0 for the second constraint. And the third one is 0, comma minus 3 and 2, comma 0 as the third constraint. Let me draw the graph. Since, uh, since we have uh, x2 as minus 3, we have to construct, uh, we have to take that as a consideration also. Let me draw the graph like this. Minus, minus 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is for dx2. So the first constraint, the points are 0, 5 and 10, 0. So 0, 5 and 10, 0, the first point, construct a line. So this is for the equation 5x1 plus 10x2 less than or equal to 50 and for the second point it is like uh, second point is 0 comma 8 and 2 comma 0 
zero comma eight and two comma zero. So this equation is for eight x one plus two x two greater than or equal to sixteen. And the third one is minus zero comma minus three. 0 comma minus 3 and 2 comma 0 minus 3 and 2 comma 0. You construct a line here from this to this. So it will be like this to this. And this uh, line is for 3x1 minus 2x. Two greater than or equal to six. The same thing you have to identify the feasible region. So let me take the first uh, line five x one plus ten x two less than or equal to fifteen. If you take this point, um, if you take any point like uh, five comma two, you'll get twenty uh, five plus twenty. It is twenty uh, five plus twenty is forty five, which is less than or equal to fifty. Uh, so the feasible region is downwards. It is indicated in this arrow and If you take uh, this line, like uh, this line, so it is 8x1 plus uh, 2x2 greater than or equal to 16. If you take this any point like this 1 comma 4, it is like uh, 8 plus 8 uh, 16, which is greater than or equal to 16. It is satisfied. So it will be like uh, the upward region, or uh, you have to take that that as the region. For example, if you take another point like uh, 1 comma 2, it is like 8 plus uh, 4. It is 12. 12 is not greater than or uh, 12 is not greater than or equal to 16. So, so we can show that this is uh, we can show that this is not a feasible region. Anywhere above is said to be a feasible region. So you mark this as the uh, the upper point as the feasible region. Now, if you take this line as the feasible region, or if you take this line like uh, 3x1 minus 2x2 greater than or equal to 6, if you consider this point like uh, 4 comma 2. If you apply 4 comma 2 here, it is 12 minus uh, 8. So 12 minus 8 is 12 minus 8 is uh, like 4. 4 is not greater than or equal to uh, 6. So the point is like this way, not this way. Uh, it will be like this way. So if you plot a uh, if you plot a, a graph. Or if you plot a feasible region, the feasible region is the intersection of all these lines. So intersection will be like this line. So this will be the intersection region. So you have to plot a, a line like this. So this line is two comma zero. This line is ten comma zero. And this line, this point, you can calculate by solving this equation: five x one plus ten x two equal to fifty. And uh, 3x1 minus 2x2 greater than or equal to 6 or uh, 6. So you'll get uh, after solving, you'll get uh, 4 comma 3. So totally, we'll be getting uh, three points. Like first point is 4 comma 3, and the second point is 2 comma 0, and the third point is 10 comma 0. So if you apply, uh, if you apply 4 comma 3. If you apply 4 comma 3 in an objective function z, so z is equal to like uh, max z is equal to 100 100 x1 plus 80 x2. So if you apply 4 comma 3, it will be like uh, 400 plus uh, 240. 400 plus 240 is 400 plus 240 is 640. And if you apply 2 comma 0, it is 200. If you apply 10 comma 0, it is 
sorry it is thousand it is thousand ten into ten hundred is thousand so since the objective function is max you have to calculate the maximum value so the final result you are getting is uh, 10 comma 0 where x1 is equal to 10 x2 is equal to 0 and the objective function z is equal to 1000 so in this type of problem so the difference between the previous tutorial and this tutorial is every constraint has some different criteria the first constraint is greater than or equal to type the second constraint will be like less than or equal to type it will be like mixer type of constraint so when you when you go for mixer type of constraint the identification of feasible region should be um, carefully examined and it should be applied so for this problem the answer is like uh, 10 comma 0 x1 is equal to 10 x2 is equal to 0 and uh, z is equal to thousand thank you